Yo, I'm actually so hyped for this right now. Finally, it's arrived. A, a piece of tool I needed for um, my cameras and these vlogs, so I'm about to take it to another level here. I was supposed to get a monitor from my buddy, but I don't think I ended up finding it. But I ended up getting this Viltrox monitor. And uh, basically this thing is a five inch display for DSLRs. Um, it connects with HDMI. So you can actually use this for anything. Like technically you could use this as a TV, as a monitor for your PlayStation, but check out the size of it. It's pretty much the size of my hand. And what's cool about this shit right here. So all I gotta do is just open it somehow. Let me let me put this down. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'll show you this Viltrox uh, piece of work that I just got here. Takes battery at the back, speakers, and basically when you open it, all you gotta do is open the top like that. The barn doors flip out. And um, and yeah, that's basically how this thing works. Um, so it's got the power in. This one here says, uh, I don't know what it's for, but there's an on off button here as well. So there's also a quarter inch screw slot here for your tripod mounts. Also a little hole so that when you put a base plate on here, it kind of latches into there and, and it's sturdy. Also seems to have a USB port here and headphone ports at the back. And when you close it, it basically just fills up like that. And this is a five inch display. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if my battery adapter fits in here. Right now, I, I, I presume this is for Sony or Panasonic batteries but I have a adapter that fits Canon batteries in here. And uh, what else we have in the box here actually is not too much more. Um, this case to put everything in. Velvet. And also a hot shoe mount with that little knob there that I was telling you about to help it lock in place. Um, which would go like Pretty much like this. You screw that on. And then you can just mount that. For some reason, like, yeah. You can mount that on there. However you like. But unfortunately, the battery that I ha I don't have the right battery for it, so I'm batteryless right now, which is very unfortunate. So after all that, I just packed it up because I don't have a battery. It takes a Sony battery, so now I gotta go out and try and find a Sony battery for this, um, or look online. I'm gonna look online for one. Let's see what happens. So yeah, that was kind of unfortunate that I need a battery for that. Um, I'm gonna try and go find one today. I'm gonna look up a camera store around here and see if uh, I can find that or a DC charger for it. But I might have to order it on Amazon. Two day shipping. So yeah, I definitely had to order two batteries off of Amazon. Um, should be here in like a week or so. And I think the brand was newer. Seems to be a very generic third party battery brand. I just wish I bought it earlier. Um, but um, should work good. So I'll give you another video on an update on the working functions of this monitor. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed the unboxing of it, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh see ya. God.